What's up? What's up? What's up? What y'all doing? What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Is it me? Relaxing, love. Oh my God. They finding out that the uh, tattoos, the ink shit they use it for tattoos leads to motherfucking cancer. I'm glad I'm done with that life. The only one I didn't get is my granddaughter. Um, Damn, Beyonce look like her mom. But, um, yeah. People crazy. Yo, this world is shot the fuck out, y'all. Y'all gotta be safe out here. People losing their mind. And it's like something that 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 is going on in, in the universe, you feel me? Because things is changing and people don't realize that they still stuck on three years, four or five years ago. Shit longer than that. I never seen people stuck like this in my life. They cannot go forward. That's all they talk about is the past, and that's what they stuck in. They even wear the past on them. Real shit. Anyway, this week is like for my star seeds, my collectors, my empaths, my tarot readers, my spiritualists, the real ones, period. No need to sugarcoat a motherfucking thing. Not on this channel, anyway. Yeah. It be a lot of shade going the fuck away. Shade through. Now, my situation is the focus is on the messages getting out for humanity purpose to teach the uneducated, the unknowing people that are still asleep been sleep because we all born sleep people like we born awake no we born to sleep okay why you think they like to smack the baby butt so they can make the baby cry do you understand what that really mean they smack the baby butt to wake the baby up and some people just don't get the fuck up That's to open your third eye so you could see the real deal. You're not in the womb no more. You're not protected no more. Your protection now comes from the person womb you came out of, which goes to the mother. That's why when a mother hurts a child, especially of theirs, That's a real bad sin. Even though a sin is a sin, certain sins is bigger than other. Look in the Bible. Whatever Bible you have. Okay? Okay. Just one of y'all to get that knowledge. Because some people is still sleep. And no matter how many motherfucking spankers you do to these motherfuckers, they're going to be sleep. Everybody not going to get this motherfucker message because they're asleep. You feel me? Bottom fucking lie. So, when I see other co-workers, because that's what we are, bashing other co-workers, that's crazy. And that happens at every workplace. That's just what it is. It is what it is. You mad at YouTube, whatever. 
They messing up. What I learned, and if you are real empath or tarot, whatever you want to call yourself, sometimes you might got to go back on and see what you doing that's not for humanity purpose. That's me included. Real shit. Real shit. Now, I learned to be more private because I had motherfuckers try to kill me for shit that I don't even have in my possession. I guess I, I inherit that energy. So just because I could, I'm worth millions or worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, remember in their brains, in their brains that I know deserve it. I need to be dead. They want me out of here. They don't want me here no more. Whatever the case is, why they want you here no more? Because you got more than them. And you may not got more than them. You just know how to manage your shit. No, they don't like that. They want you fucked up. It depending on the motherfuckers. Listen, this is real knowledge for your ass. Okay? I want you to get this today. Is going to be more so the message is going to be of knowledge and to understand what the fuck's going on here. Because if you don't have the right knowledge or the right teacher that's teaching the knowledge properly to you or to deliver the messages, whereas though you can understand the message that's beneficial for humanity purpose. And we're going to put a period there. And we're going to leave that alone. And start another paragraph. Motherfuckers don't even know how to do paragraphs and, and, and shit. They just be writing. And we all make mistakes. So sometimes I go back and be like, damn, what the fuck I spelled? But see, I catch on this shit. Like, you mad at YouTube? Don't put your business out there. That's like you don't like your food. You talk slick to the person that's cooking your food. Yeah, you may be watching them cooking it, but it takes a half a second to spit in your shit. It takes a half a second to put their finger up their nose on their ass and touch your food. Why? Because motherfuckers nasty. I don't live in... I need to keep being spanked. I'm fucking awoke. And you're not. We're not never going to be the fucking same. And I know that all my life that I've been awoke. I never was sleep. Right. I never was fucking sleep, yo. This whole motherfucker life of 3D. When I came out, I didn't have to be spanked. And I came out as a C-section baby. And I'm the only child. Period. I was awoke. I don't know what's going on. I'm still learning who I am because what I thought who I was was a perception of what people wanted me to perceive about myself that was not true. Let's talk proper here. And now I'm seeing... That I don't know who the fuck I am. Period. Shit. I don't. I'm working towards it. Self-discovery. Discovering stuff about myself. My mom was adopted. My mom is not my mom, mom, mom. Or mom. My biological mother don't have no bloodline with the people that raised me all my fucking life. At all. And I didn't find that out till later. So me and my mom is raised up by motherfucking vultures that hated us. My mom was a redhead. Pure redhead. And freckles. And my mom's nickname was Candy from North Philly. Period. My mom's first love was my father. And she got pregnant. And she never had another child again. And my mom ended up being bisexual. 
I think a year after she had me and never went back. It wasn't a bisexual like these motherfuckers running around fully. So, and she was the man one. She wasn't the woman one. So that, that, that tells you, right? Bottom line. My mom ain't give her pussy out. My mom wasn't in. She was groomed into some shit at a young age. Hanging over here in North Philly. She didn't want me over here. My whole family is from North and South Philly. They didn't want me here. They warned me. I was hanging here. They kept telling me it's, it's different, it's different. I was hanging here from college on out. I know everybody. Do I tell people who I know? Fuck you. It take me five years to get to know you well unless I hung out with you. We ran the street. We fought together. We did this together. And they ain't know me. They accept me. I was from Jersey. They was coming back to Glassboro and all where where I'm from. I was in Glassboro before these bitches. And when I came to Glassboro, I had two children that was five years apart. Sit down, bitch. I've been a boss in college. You don't know me. You ain't know me. And if I was on Dudley Street, I wasn't hanging with you. You bitches don't know me. I was hanging with Molly and Gina until I got pregnant. And then things would get another motherfucker way. Okay? So, you bitches, y'all knew in the motherfucking game. I've been about that money. I've been about that life. I've been knew what the fuck it is. I've been knew how to skate. I've been knew who the niggas that had money, been had money back in the day, who was broke, who I was fucking, who they was fucking. And we all was chilling. It's just James got fucked up. Now I see shit was lies. Or however it went down. But at the end of the day, that's that. We all grown now and everybody doing their own thing. So don't tell me you know me. You don't fucking know me. Know me is before I had motherfucking kids. And you ain't know me. My road dolls are candy was Molly and Gina. Then I'm with the agent. I didn't fuck with too many bitches. I was on my own in Kia, my real bitch, bitch, bitch. That got me on money, shit, shit. At 19, I was little Kim for real. So you can't tell me a motherfucker thing. So stop telling motherfuckers you know me. You bitches don't know me. I met little motherfucker Kim live, okay? With the shit y'all doing and starting to do, I've been doing that and doing that when I was in middle school and all that. Like, this shit's it's played the fuck out. Motherfuckers, male, female, need to focus out, focus on future, long term. Motherfuckers don't think of long term. They think about right now. And I was like that. And that shit's wrong. It's not about now. It's not about going to get Chanel for now. Get that shit for later. Stop wearing that shit. Wear that shit one time and half a day if you can and put that shit up. Screenshot that shit. Yeah, we know you got it. We don't got to see you wear it. Because that price drops tremendously. Just putting your foot in that motherfucker. Okay? I got Jordans that I never put my foot in. Because everybody was so hyped. I just wanted them all. <laughs> How I learned that from my motherfucking son. He don't wear nothing. I don't know. With this shit he wearing, I'm not buying even if I have it, even though I did it already, but I'm not buying that, but the shit he buy, some of that shit, he'll, like, even if he wear his shit, the shit he buy, he still get full value if he take his shit, and let's say he needed money, that's value, okay, you motherfuckers buying your shit that you don't have no value in, you, you wear the joints forever, so you, it ain't not, you couldn't, if you needed money or collectible or something pop up, you can't do shit like Cabbage Patch. Now I know why my mom took my shit. Like, motherfuckers that know that dollar know what's worth what later. A lot of people, they, they don't understand. They don't, they don't use their minds. They, they think of right now. And I still be in that situation too sometimes like right now right now no matter what you're going on you just gotta take a long time whatever's going on right now you gotta just let that go it's hard like people did me fucked up and i let it go but my let go different i'm not let go and then we smile at each other face i don't fuck with you i ain't speak to you i don't know you period my folks don't know me if you knew me you want to pick with me you want to fuck with me because I, I i i fuck you up that's what people know me by fucking you up cutting you up Shooting you up. 
being little as hell, getting jumped by many bitches and fucking them all up, big bitches. I, every fight I had was mostly big bitches, big, fat, tall bitches. If they wasn't fat, they was real, real tall, and I'm real little. That's always popping shit. Like, I don't play. These hands is vicious, and it's not even about my hands. It's how I roll. I'm a dirty fucking fighter. Don't ever think you coming to me and you fighting fuck a fair. Because bitch, something's coming out from somewhere, and you may regret it. That's why I stay low. Because I know my worth. Like, back in the day, people bothered me so much. Like, I came out, like, shooting in the air, going crazy. And I didn't think that people could have been around. I didn't think of that because they kept, it was just so much. Like, just chill the fuck out. Say, hey, Lance, Sam, I don't know you. Five years, I don't know you. Four years, I don't know you. Three years, I don't know you. Two years, I definitely don't know you. I don't know you at all. I need ten years. And if I don't live in your house, I definitely don't know you, yo. Fuck wrong with you. Me and these bitches, we fuck niggas in the same fucking room. They bitches that know me. And then they still don't know me now because I didn't change. That was back when I was 18, 19. 17. Matter of fact, I was, we was all in the high school. So y'all bitches don't know me. Sit down. You would never know me. I don't want to know you. The little bit I know, I'm, I wish I never knew. That's how I come at motherfuckers. So when I see people going against the MPRF and going against this and going against that, like, we are here for one reason only. And that's everybody in the world, but that's them. I'm talking to my third eye openers. The ones that see more than I even fucking see. That shocks me. Okay? When a motherfucker shocks me, that's, that's something. Because people don't shock me in a good way. Okay? Like, some people I don't even want to listen to because I'm like, oh, my God, I already know I'm in there. Because for some reason, Capricorn, and I, I don't know if it's all, but I know January fucking 10th is always some shit going on. <laughs> Real shit. Especially January, Capricorn. Definitely January. It's always some shit going on. Somebody always hating. First through the 10th, is my always hating. Hating all the fucking time. There's always some shit going on. People be mad because we get through all that shit and we look good for our age. I'm trying to tell you, just keep your business anything to do because remind you, the things you're saying about YouTube, they control us, our pages. We don't control them. So... When I be, I, I think different because I know how the world really is and they could fuck up your money even longer. I ain't saying they doing it intentionally or whatever's going on, but be mindful. It's like somebody making you food. Be mindful of the hand that feeds you. Next. Everybody read different. Some people feel as though they don't want to complete what they want to say because they can't. Why? I know. So the bad Sharita, oh, they didn't come out and say to everything. And then, blah, blah, blah. first of all, I'm not being smart, but I'm going to keep it real with you. Did you pay for this reading? No. Are you a star C, an empath, or had your third eye open? Could be. But is this your platform? No. Is that your mouth? Yes. Can you say what you want? Yes. Can you do what you want to a certain fucking extent? So my situation is, who the fuck is you to ask somebody why they didn't complete a sentence or a message? Because divine stop you when you're about to. And because you don't understand, because your eyes are still closed is why you're reading tarot right now. And you're trying to figure out what's going on in somebody's life. Probably, um, what is it called? Cross watcher type bullshit energy. Anyway, you don't understand. So like, sometimes people say things and you don't know, like, it's just a negative energy. Like, it just be a negative energy. The vibe ain't right. So y'all just be mindful. Like, we co-workers. We're not enemies. 
Well, I know I'm not. I don't like that's the I don't even pay people no mind. I got certain people I listen to sometimes and then I fall off from certain people. Some people I don't fall off from. Some people I've been following before I even start doing tarot on YouTube. Remember, I was doing private readings and stuff before YouTube. YouTube came in 2017. I was out way before then. I was out when I was born, but when I was dealing with cars, when I was like real little, they was taking them from me and it, and all. It was a lot going on when I was growing up. It was different. I, I just, I, it was crazy. Good, half crazy, half not. But shit's crazy right now. I didn't even know that it was March the 1st. I think I'm just going with the flow of everything. And knowing that I'm going to be at my destiny location. And just happy around kids, giving them baskets of fruit and just giving them love and support that they needed that I didn't have. And others didn't have. That's a victim of some type of sexual assault as a child or a crisis as a child that they have to deal with, period. Other than that, yo, I don't have no other dreams besides moving. And peace and quietness and never coming back to any hoods. People don't understand what I mean. Hoods, they not getting it. To me, if I'm not living up there where I could see Nicki and Minaj or might come on my door or might bump into maybe Jordan cousin or Jordan brother house or something, that's po that's, that's poverty to me. I'll never come back once I get out of here. I'm not, I can't move from somewhere else and move somewhere else. I'm like, oh, okay, this is the suburb is a little better. I mean, it's shit going on everywhere, but nah, mm -mm. that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm, I, I got, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I didn't have my fair share. There's nothing I miss once I go. Fuck all that. Fuck that shit. I'm just trying to figure out. Because I be wondering, like, how can you, what do, like, I just be wondering, like, how did you transition from rich, from poor to rich? Poor to rich came out. Something could be significant with him. But I want to know how they did that. That they just drop everything. How did you do it? Did you put your stuff in storage? What did you do? When, when that good divine energy came and took you from hell to heaven with that blessing how was you able to trans transform was it easy like for i be wondering like that's on my mind like i be wondering like how do the rich do that when something just transforms or like you hit the lottery and then you end up rich how do you transform what do you do you just leave everything you put it in the storage you give everything away what do you do do you wonder do you get to a lawyer do you hurry up and go buy a house? How do you do this? What do, like, how do you do that? How do you leave things that you attach to, like, everything, your meds? Like, how does that go? How do you go from rich to poor that fast? Or, well, poor to rich. That's what I want to know. Poor to rich, not the other one. I already know how that happened, believe me. But poor to rich, like, how you change everything? Like, how does that go? How do you disappear? How can you move without people knowing, like, like, does you just give it up or you hire somebody to do all that? I'm just trying to figure out everything because I already know my time coming. And I'm fucking ready. This shit ain't, I ain't claiming this shit. I wish I would. This is not me. This is not, this was, this is not, this, everything that's going on is a test going on right now. Ain't none of this shit me. There's none of this shit going on. None of this 3D shit is not me. And even the 3D, my blessings coming in 3D. Because I already know what's going on. 
I'm trying to tell y'all, it's a lot of shit going on. So, I'm going to get some messages. Y'all already know I'm getting to some messages. Somebody need to get their eyes checked. I know I do. Somebody could be driving a wagon or they could have a W in their name. You could have S in your name. We got the letter S here. Huh, this always come out. That monkey in the morning. Hey, monkey. Crack the fuck up. They could have M in their name. Somebody could be a miss. Miss monkey. Yo. Somebody could have a Q. It could be a, yeah. Somebody could be named Q. Somebody could be Miss monkey. Miss queen monkey. Early in the morning. Somebody must be thinking, thinking about me. A monkey. Somebody could have R. Mm. What happened? What did I just do? Give me a minute, y'all, because I'm not all the way grounded, right? Okay. Somebody could have an R in their name. We have H. I don't know what I'm doing with that, but we have P. We have P again. Let me see. I'm not. We have D, Dick Rider, and we got J, I think a jump man, I don't know why, and we got N, and we got F, and we got low key, so somebody want to be low key, somebody low key, or trying to stay low key. is so okay somebody name could be dj or somebody could be a dj i definitely see police department here public defender office somebody could have hp hp computer hp Somebody could have PMS. I resonate. Directly. Full in effect. Somebody name could be Robin. I resonate. They have PMS. Laugh out loud. Real shit, though. Somebody could have a Dyfus case. Or Dyfus is involved in some way. DHS. This is definitely um Division of Child Services. I'll just put it out there. That you better be all over the world. Somebody could live on the road or something on the road. I see had. Something about New Jersey. With JF. I see this. I look at South Philly. Somebody saying PS. Somebody is adding something to something. Somebody need to go to the doctor. Yeah, right now.
Real shit. Yeah, somebody need, please, somebody tell somebody, please go to the doctor right now. Somebody in New Jersey. Somebody they name could be McQueen, McCall, Mikkel. Something right now. You need to do something right now. Yep. Yeah, somebody really capital S need to go to a medical doctor. Somebody mad. <laughs> For real shit right now. Somebody mad as fuck. Yeah, somebody mad. Once again, in New Jersey. Ah, bitch, I know you mad. Sit down. Sit your monkey ass down. In an hour. You may find something out in an hour. Real shit. P.S. Yeah, you're going to find something out. A medical diagnosis in an hour. Somebody from New Jersey is about to find out something that you've been wanting to find out. All right, we're going to get off of that. Because I don't give a fuck about y'all monkeys. And there's a lot of y'all. Flying monkeys and apes in New Jersey. Okay. People may got some food stamps today. Bitches act funny on the first one. They're the first like you want to ask them for something. These bitches crazy. Yeah, somebody got a medical problem that need attentions, yo. That need to go to the doctor. I'm just closing this part out. Or you waiting for results to come on a HP computer. Could be a queen, a feminine. Let's go to the messages and see what uh meditation messages that come out because i'm not being long with this reading this was kind of like just let people know like be mindful of what you do be mindful of what you say just we all is growing every day yo for real we all got challenges it's just some people will never be awake and it's sad i ain't fucking with it and it's hard for me because I've been, I was taught. This is what you taught. This is all you know. So you trying to change some shit like that. That is instilled in your brain since you came out, basically. It's hard. That's why everybody can't make it. Because they don't have the ability to change their mindset. And I'm trying. It's hard. But I'm going to keep trying to keep doing it initiation somebody want to put you in something here or initiated you with something you may not even know this yet somebody could come up out of dealing with their family it was reverse present energy family is is important at this time yeah this is a light worker like i said this reading definitely for a light worker yeah you a light worker your family is listening to you your soul tribe. And you're listening to them. You're you're in a whole nother life now. That you don't understand. Right now. This is your new family. I'm talking to a light worker. This is your new family. I resonate. This is how I'm taking it. I take this. This is your new family now. You're never alone. We're listening. I was set by divine to give you this message. This message came from divine through me to you, for you to understand yourself and open your heart chakra and third eye and wake up. There is a new world. There is a new world order that is taking shape. They've been taking shape for lots of years now and nobody was seeing it. Now it's starting to really be out there whereas though people that is awake see it clearly that people that sleep just thinking oh damn they losing out of money too or this happened because no 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 the new world order we all is equal there it's not what you seeing in this 3d 
it is going to be 3D form, yes, but it's not what you're thinking. You have to change your mindset. And people is gradually getting into it, unwillingly knowing and unwillingly seeing that they're going right with their flow of change, but still stuck in the past. That's some fucked up shit. They're not awake to why and what is going really on here. And that's some fucked up shit. Because to not know what the fuck's going on here in this world right now. It's fucked up. So like I said, you stepped into a whole nother source of energy. You're not the same at all. 